Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my bookish world, I'm Alex and today I'm going to be talking to you guys um, about the books that I have to read for school this semester. So I have a large stack of books. Um, I am actually taking four classes, so I'm taking public relations, writing, um, traditional grammar, why can't I remember, African history through literature and film, and special topics in writing, women in writing. So I'm taking some exciting classes um, as it is my last semester. So I'll get into it. Um, hopefully I won't take too long. Although, oh, of course I put the book that I want to talk about first on the bottom. Cause you know, that's how you do it when you film. There we go. So the first book that I actually have is an ebook, so I'm not gonna talk about it for very long. Um, that's just becoming a public relations writer. And I believe that's my, and that's my textbook for my public relations writing class um so yeah not too exciting just a textbook and then um because i'm taking traditional grammar i have this english fundamental 16th edition um that i use so it's actually a rental from amazon but yeah so that's my other book the rest are like pretty ex exciting books um i'll start with my books for my african history class because they're probably some of my most exciting books. I don't know. Although I'm interested in reading the books that I have for my women in writing class too. But I guess it's kind of a haul slash um, books that I'm hopefully going to be reading this semester. My professor was like, I don't know. We'll get, to, we'll see if we get to them. It's kind of a toss up. So who knows? But the first book that I have is one that I actually am currently reading for class. And that is Homegoing by, uh, gosh, God. I heard it pronounced on the audiobook and I can't pronounce it. Yeah, Gossy, I believe. Gossy. Anyway, this author just actually came out with a book last year called Transcendental Kingdom. And I believe that book um, was a book of the month pick at some point last year because I definitely saw it pop up. But anyway, Homecoming, Homegoing came out in. I don't know when it came out. Okay, so this came out in 2016, um, so it's pretty new, but anyway, this book follows two, it takes, starts out in 18th century Ghana with these two girls who are sisters but come from very different worlds. Um, one is sold off into slavery and one is married to a white man, and so basically it's like the story of their descendants through time, um, and it's so interesting because like one of them is in Africa or in Ghana at least for the most time and dealing with kind of the repercussions that are going on there with colonization. And then, you know, the other side is in America and is dealing with slavery. Um, and it's just super, super interesting. Um, I should be finishing this act actually pretty soon, but yeah. So this is really interesting and I highly recommend it. And then the next book is one that I actually don't know what I'm going to be reading, probably in March. And that's Things Fall Apart by Chin Chinua Ashibe. I don't remember how to pronounce it. Um, I've had, I think I read this actually my senior year of high school in one of my classes. Now to be fair, I was definitely not motivated then to read um, books like this. But I am definitely excited to read this. Um... I don't know much about it. I think it follows like, it takes place in Nigeria and it follows this um, strong man named Okunokwo. I, sorry if I'm mispronouncing this. I'll probably be listening to the audiobook about this. So hopefully whenever I talk about it, I'll have a better understanding of pronouncing the names. Um, and then, so it follows this strong man, a powerful fable of the immemorial conflict between the individual and society. It traces Okonokuo's fall from grace with the tribal world. The second, as modern as the first is ancient, concerns a clash of cultures and the destruction of Okonokuo's world with the arrival of oppressive European mystery, missionaries. So I'm excited to get to this and actually read it this time. Um, and then we have God's Bit of Wood by Simbene Osman, I believe. Um, and I don't know what this is about, but basically all it says is 1974 to 1978, the workers on the Dakar Niger 
Railway came out on strike. Some Ben some Bene was made in this vivid and moving novel evinces all the color, passion, and tragedy of those divisive years in the history of West Africa. So I'm excited to get to this as well. I decided to take this class just because of um, the Black Lives Matter movement last year and realizing how little I knew about African history. Um, and the idea to take it like through literature and film, which are two things that I'm an English major, so literature for me, like I get that. Um, so I was really interested in reading this. So I'm excited to get to this. I think I'll actually be getting to this next after homegoing, but I don't know that for sure. And then I have Nervous Conditions. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name because I know I'll fuck it up or mess it up, whatever, but I'll put it closer. Um, but I don't know much about this. Let's see. So... I still, basically it says, in the story of one family through its death, no, I still can't find a good thing about this. I don't know what this is about, I'll be honest. Um, the little, like, blurb from an author or from somebody says, in the story of one family the, through its death negotiations of race and class, gender and cultural change, dramatized with the sense of wit and clarity of purpose and nervousness, the post-colonial conditions that be devil us still devil us still i think i pronounced that right and tombu and the women of her family we african women of the latter part of the 20th century can see ourselves whether at home or displaced doing daily battle with our changing world with their mixture of tenacity bewilderment and grace so like i said i don't really know what this is about but it sounds pretty interesting and i'll be interested to get to it and then the next book is matigari um also not going to pronounce that name because i will mess that up um but it says one by the by one of the giants of african literature so basically the back just says who is matigari is he young or old a man or fate dead or living or even a resurrection of jesus christ these are the questions asked by the people of this unnamed country when a man who has survived the war war for independence emerges from the mountains and starts making strange claims and demands matigari is in search of his family to rebuild his home and start a new and peaceful future. But his search becomes a quest for truth and justice as he finds the people still dispossessed and the land he loves ruled by corruption, fear, and misery. Rumors spring up that a man with superhuman qualities has risen to renew the freedom struggle. The novel races towards its climax as Matigari really realizes that worlds alone cannot defeat the enemy. He vows to use the force of arms to achieve his true liberation. So I'll be interested. It also says like, it's satire on the betrayal of human ideals and then on the bitter experience of post-independence African society. So this sounds pretty interesting and I'm excited to get to it. Also, these like last few books are pretty short, so hopefully they should be pretty easy to get through. And then moving on, I have quite a few books actually for my women in writing class. Now, she said in her syllabus that the entire month of April is kind of up in the air, so I don't know if we'll get to these books but i guess we'll see if we do um so yeah i'll just go through them quickly um first we have a book that i actually got for christmas so i'm not going to talk about it too much but that's educated by educated by tara westover this is a memoir um that i've heard a lot of really good things about so i was really excited when i logged on and saw that i already owned a book that i needed for class so i'm interested in getting to this and then the next book that I have is Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Will Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants Rob by Wal Robin Wall Kim Kimmerer. So I'll be excited to get to this as well. Um, I think it's a, the author is a botanist, um, so I'm really excited about getting into this. Um, and like, I don't know, it just sounds really cool. So I'm excited to get to this. Hopefully we get to it because um, it looks pretty interesting even though it's huge and then the next book that I have is Crescent which is a novel by D Diana Abu Jabbar um I don't know what this is about either because apparently nobody gives synopsis gives a synopsis anymore so Basically, okay, the back says, since the hero, Serene, the heroine of this deliciously romantic romp, is 39, never married, and living in the Arab-American community of Los Angeles. 
She has a passion for cooking and works contentedly in a Lebanese restaurant with her storytelling uncle and her saucy boss, um, 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 Nadia, believes she should be trying harder to find a husband. One day, Hanif, a handsome professor of Arabic, Arabic literature, an Iraqi exile comes to the restaurant. Serene falls in love and finds herself questioning everything she thought she knew about Hanif as well as her own twin identity as an Arab American. So I'm actually pretty excited to get to this. It sounds interesting and I also like the fact that we're kind of mixing um, nonfiction with fiction. And then the next book that I have is Last Night I Dreamed of Peace, The Diary of Deng Thoi Thu mm, Tram. I don't know. How to pronounce it but um this is translated by andrew x fam um so basically i believe it's this girl's diary entries from um a woman who volunteered to serve as a doctor in a national libertarian front battlefield hospital in the quang nai province two years later she was killed by american forces not far from where she worked so the writing in here is written between 1968 and 1970. Her diary speaks poignantly of her devotion to family and friends, the horrors of war, her yearning for her high school sweetheart, and her struggle to prove her loyalty to her country. So this is actually, this sounds pretty interesting um, and obviously pretty sad. I mean, it takes place, it talks about horrors of war, um, but it'll be pretty interesting to get to this. And then the next book that I have is Funny and Farsi, a memoir of growing up Iranian in America um, by Firuze Dumas. Um, basically, it's about this girl. Well, yeah, it, I, that was stupid. It's a memoir of growing up Iranian in America. So, yeah, um, it's pretty short and it has some pretty big font so i'm excited to get to this as well i'm excited to get to most of these books they sound really interesting and being that i only have four classes this semester it's a lot more manageable than taking five and having to read like books for like three classes so yeah and then the last one that i have is hidden in plain view or no not the last one i'm stupid i'm sorry the next one that I have is Hidden in Plain View, A Secret Story of Quilts and the Underground Railroad Jacqueline, by Jacqueline L. Tobin and Raymond G. Dobard, Ph.D. So it the, tells the fascinating, fascinating story of a friendship, a lost tradition, and an incredible um, discovery explaining for the first time how enslaved men and women encoded messages within quilt patterns to help fugitives navigate their escape along the Underground Railroad. So I'm excited to get into this. Um, I think this will be just super interesting. And then I have Enemy Women by Paulette Giles. Um, again, don't know what this is about, but it takes place in southeastern Missouri and as somebody who is from Missouri, I guess that should be pretty interesting. Um, the war between the states is a plague, so this, I guess, talks about the Civil War, is a plague that threatens devastation despite the families of avowed neutrality, so it follows a family in southeastern Missouri during the Civil War who is trying to be neutral, so this will be interesting to get into as well. And I don't actually know if this is fiction or if this is, it's a novel, so it's fiction, so this will be interesting. And then the last book that I have, um, I'm really excited about. I've read this author a few times, just kind of snippets of her stuff in class, um, and I've enjoyed it. So that is Belonging, A Culture of Place by Bell Hooks. Um, I don't know much about this, what it's about, but yeah, I'm excited to get to it. Like I said, I've read Bell Hooks before and I really enjoyed some of her work. So I'll be interested to be getting into this book. So that's it for the books that I have to read for school. Like I said, it's a lot, but hoping that this semester will be more manageable as it's my as it is my last. I only have four classes. Um, I do work two jobs, but I mean, I do a lot of homework at my jobs. And then, um, yeah, so I'm hoping, even though I'm job searching and trying to finish a draft of a novel, which by the way, I might be doing a writing update kind of soon, maybe. We'll see um so anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe follow my social media down below that's twitter instagram and goodreads and i will see you guys next time goodbye